In this lesson we'll do two more examples um, where we'll have to use the multiplication property of equality. In this first one we have fractions involved and and we've seen this type of, uh, of equation back in chapter one so this is more of a review than anything else but let's remind ourselves of the best way to do this. It's true that I could divide by two-sevenths if I wanted but then that gets real messy and and there's more opportunity for error there. So remember the quickest way to isolate our variable is to multiply by the reciprocal of the coefficient or the flip of the coefficient when that coefficient's a fraction. All right, so on the left side, everything cancels out there, leaving us with just one x. And on the right side, seven divided by seven is one, 14 divided by seven is two. All right, so we have x on the left side equals 1 times 5 is 5, 2 times 2 is 4. So x equals 5 fourths is our solution to the first example. The second one we have 0.5x minus 1.7x equals 36. So the first thing we need to do is simplify this left side. And we can see there's some like terms I can combine. And so I'm just going to need to take 0.5 minus 1.7. So let's find the difference between those. So the difference is 1.2. But remember, the negative was on uh, 1.7, or the minus was with 1.7. So we're going to end up with negative 1.2x equals 36. So since I'm multiplying by negative 1.2, I will divide both sides by negative 1.2. And so I'm going to have to do some division. Uh, but in cases where you have to do some division, it's a, not a bad idea to decide right now, is this answer going to be positive or negative? And since it's a positive divided by a negative, I know it will be negative. So I just like to put that there right away so I don't forget. And then I'll go over here and look at the division. Understand that if this division does not come out nicely, I will go back to, uh, I will go back over here and reduce this as a fraction. But um, I'm recognizing that I kind of have a third, I have 36 and then it's 1.2, but I see 12 in there. And 12 does go into 36. So that's why I'm pretty confident in, uh, in going ahead and dividing these numbers. So what we have is 360 divided by 12, and 12 goes into 36 exactly three times. Drop the zero, of course, 12 goes into zero, zero times. So x equals negative 30. 